now, our feature presentation. What's up, y'all? I'm going to make a quick video on the uh, 24 to 67 inch focus on tripod with smartphone credit says for DSLR cameras, smartphones, and GoPro action cameras. All right, I just read some of the stuff on the back and we'll take it out. Even though I, I think I didn't use this tripod one time, but I wanted to actually make a video of it. So once again, it's the tripod with smartphone cradle for DSLR cameras, smartphones, and GoPro action cameras, 24 to 67 inch. Has a three-way pan head with bubble level and quick release mounting plate. Non-slip feet, adjustable height mounts most SLR and D SLR camera, GoPro cameras and smartphones. Says the basics. It says picks or picks or it didn't happen. Take your selfie game to the next level or capture the best shots of your team in action with our 67-inch tripod with smartphone cradle. This customizable mount. Attachment fits most SLR and DSLR cameras, GoPro cameras, and smartphones, making it a versatile must-have for any selfie or action enthusiast. Take as many pics as you want. These legs never get tired. Focus on. <laughs> and this is actually what it says on the... Dang, I can't think of the size of the other one. I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> um, on this one. The, I believe this is a, this is the 16 to maybe 24 inches. I didn't forget y'all, but I haven't used one of these in a long time. Cause if y'all can see, I done broke every one I had. So I said, I might as well go ahead and get the, and I'm gonna make a comparison of these two, even though this one is broke. I'm gonna just point out some of the stuff that make this uh bigger. 24 to 67 inch mix seem more sturdier to me and worth the extra five dollars i think that one is 1998 1997 1997 somewhere around that price range and this one is 25 dollars and some change so i think it's worth it for the extra uh money and the build quality of this one which i wouldn't say is a whole lot better than it but it is definitely better if you just look at them. It said height adjust 24 inches to 67 inches, which is 61 centimeters to 170 centimeters, collapses to 24.4 inches, uh, 62 centimeters for storage, supports up to 11 pounds, which is five kilograms. It says weighs 3.04 pounds, which is 1.38 kilograms. Leg braces for additional stability, quick release mount plate with one four uh one a, a quarter 20 unc thread mount it's a what's in the box tripod quick release mount plate one of the adjustable locky smartphone cradle and one gopro mount so let me make sure the camera rolling y'all <laughs> do all this talking and the camera not rolling all right y'all let's crack a rope and see what's in here like i said i'm gonna make a separate video comparing i believe this is a I got my numbers wrong. Like I said, I haven't used this tripod in so long because it's been broke. I done brought, this was my second one of these. So, and when I went to go look for this one, they didn't have it. So this what what made me get the little, the, the bigger one. All right, let's open it up. It comes with a better, better carrying bag than this one. This one actually has like a little strap on it. You can throw over your shoulders or however you want to do it. This one just comes in a little bag that looks like uh, you slip it in there and it has a drawstring on it. So not really much of a carrying case, but it's definitely a place to store it. So that's a good thing to give you places to store them. I'm gonna quit talking about that one because like I said, I'm gonna make a separate video. <laughs> All right. Like I said, I, I have used this before. So it comes with your GoPro mount, that's what they calling this, is the GoPro mount. Which is what a lot of the action cameras and cameras of that sort use. This is, they call it the GoPro mount. So it comes with that. It comes with your smartphone cradle mount. Twist that open to extend it. Close it down to make it smaller, depending on the size of your phone. Twist that open to change the orientation 
And I usually don't use it with this. I eventually end up taking this off, but this bracket right here makes it where you can change the orientation easily. So you can make it into a vertical video, um, I mean a horizontal video, or you could make it a vertical video just by doing that. So I might keep it on this. This, this might come in handy, y'all. But I, I usually take these off. I end up losing them. But, uh, let's check out the tripods, y'all. I'm telling you, this, I, I, like I'm saying, for the price of it, it's, I'm thinking it's worth it. It's definitely bigger. <laughs> this is a big, this is a big tripod. Just give y'all a look at it. This is a big, sturdy tripod, y'all. I'm hopefully it, it, it be it be more sturdier. But uh, yeah, it has like a little knob right here, and it cranks out. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> that thing crank out, crank it back down. Pretty cool there, y'all. And it has a, a a little bubble mount, lets you know if it's level right there. Uh, we'll go with some more of the top pieces. So it's just pretty similar to that camera. You uh, pull this to release this and Put this on, uh, put it on there, and you have to get the bottom going because it has a little tab on there. You're not going to be able to just spin it on there. That little tab keeps it from spinning. So you're going to have to go under the bottom and twist it down. Eventually, I always ended up, end up wearing that tab out where it makes it pretty easy for me to put this on and off. That little tab on there kind of make it hard, so you have to go to the bottom and twist it off. A little tab right there it makes it pretty hard but mine always eventually end up breaking or it ends up wearing itself down so i don't have to worry about it and it's saying lock device in place using bottom screw so that's the best way to do it you want to set it on there set it on there and twist from the bottom to get it on there that's the best way to do it unless you end up breaking your tab it makes it a little easier when that tab broke. So I always end up breaking that tab. <laughs> Has your another little bubble mount right there. It's not gonna plop mine open. So you loosen this to make it slide open and go down, which is another way you can make vertical videos. Cause if you have your, uh, I'll go ahead and put it back on there. Open these legs out a little bit. I'll put it back on there. Say you have your phone in there horizontally, horizontal, which is going to give you the aspect of the videos that you want to put on YouTube. You can put it in there. I can get it in here, y'all. <laughs> actually slides off in there so you want to slide it off in there and lock it back down by closing it so say I wanted to get a vertical video like for shorts I loosen this I loosen this and let it plop over to the side that'll get you some vertical videos for your short for short videos and in doing that you just Loosen this and tighten it, and it plops over. All right, lock that back down. It's not gonna plop over. Uh, you have your knob right here that controls your. Look, this one controls your. Let's see, you're angling up and down. So the tighter you make it, the harder it is for you to turn it up and down like this. So if I loosen it, it makes it easier to turn it up and down. Say you want to look down or you want to point it up without moving the tripod, you can do that. And this is to, right here, this is to make it where it can swivel. Just swivel. So you lock that down. Can't swivel. Swivel. And actually, I'm going to raise it back up. Because there's 
this right here, you can twist it, twist that down. You can't let it up and down. So this kind of locks it in position right here. We're gonna just loosen that. Makes it more sturdier, cause y'all see, I don't know if y'all can see, it's, it's a little wobbly. But this will lock it down and make it pretty sturdy where it really can't go anywhere. Like I'm saying, this for sure for the few more dollars is a, just looking at it, it's a sturdier camera. It, it got a little handle on the side. <laughs> it has where you can actually um, put weight onto it down here. So we're going to open it up and show y'all how tall it is. How tall did it actually get? So that's one set of legs. That's one level. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this camera. I'm gonna leave that tripod out. Like I said, I would make a separate video. I'm trying to compare them uh, so quickly, but I'm gonna make a separate video on this, y'all. Okay, and it has another set of legs and these legs right here they, they pivot which that one doesn't do let me stop talking about that with y'all <laughs> it's pretty tall um 67 inches what's that 48 60 12 12 24 36, 48, 60. So this tripod is five foot seven. That's pretty tall, y'all. This tripod is five foot seven. Let me see. I'm in shot because this thing get pretty tall. That's already pretty tall right there. And that's not even with letting it up. We gonna let it up. Let's see if this thing taller than me. Oh, this thing taller than me, y'all. <laughs> well, if I take the cradle off, not taller than me. I'm about 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 I'm, I'm teetering on six foot with shoes, so. Y'all can see how tall this thing is. <laughs> oh, I, I haven't, I, I never let it out this tall, so. That's, that's pretty sweet there. You can say you had to look over a fence or something. Let me loosen it up. Say you had to teeter over a fence or something. Boy, this thing ready, y'all. And I, I, I used it that one time, and I've been holding it off using it again because I knew I had to make a video on it. Let's see how fast we can break it down. Make it as small as it'll go again. Mm -hmm. Actually, I need to take this off. So I can break it back down. <laughs> it's a pretty nice tripod, y'all. I think it's worth a few extra dollars and it's heavy i'm not gonna lie compared to that one it's definitely heavier <laughs> uh, i didn't notice this while ago but it has like a red and a white in there i don't see any significance of it but i just wanted to point that out lock them down For sure sturdier y'all and see, this can lock your your feet down right here to keep them from moving keep this from going up and down that's definitely plastic for some reason it seems like it's some aluminum but that, that's not aluminum twist that to keep these legs from moving so if you want them to go up you have to unlock it so right to unlock it left to tighten it's not gonna go anywhere I ain't definitely, I'm definitely happy with my purchase. I, like I said, I've been trying to hold off to use it because I knew I had to make a video on it, y'all. 
I'm gonna include the prices and everything on this. But if you go to Walmart and you can't get the smaller focus on tripod, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is a maybe this is a 18 to 54. This is an 18 to 54 or a 16 to 54. I'll say 18 to 54. This is an 18 to 54 here. You can't find that one get you the uh 24 to 67 inches for just a few more dollars and like i'm saying I'm, this is definitely heavier and I'm, I'm hoping that to equate to it being more sturdier because nine times out i mean eight times out of ten i'm using my tripod outside i film a lot of videos outside so if it'll hold up for me i think it'll be worth it for that money but uh i'm gonna catch y'all later y'all be good all right y'all